a new dawn in the world of EV batteries? Toyota has been teasing solid-state EV batteries for a while now. Even the automotive world is keen on solid-state batteries, as their technology offers better performance than lithium-ion batteries. Toyota has tried and failed many times to bring them to the market, but finally they pulled it off. Buckle up yourself as we unleash the new 750-mile battery that will forever change the image of Toyota. Solid-state batteries were an ambitious project for Toyota, especially for the past several years, as lithium batteries were criticized for their weight and environmental impacts. It was the right time for Toyota to enter the market and make an impact. The research and development started a few years ago. They have been doing an extensive study of it. Their focus was not only on lithium batteries but also on alternative batteries. The company has experimented with ammonia engines that offer a pretty good range of up to 1,000 miles, but they put a halt on their production due to technical issues. And now the world is going insane about these new 750-mile solid-state batteries. But what are they? Solid state is a great technology. This was a statement from Bob Gallian, owner of Gallian Energy. This statement itself probes the importance of solid state batteries to the world, especially to the EV industry. The solid state cells are seen as the future of electric cars and the resulting electrification of the world. You might be surprised to know that solid state batteries have existed since the 1830s. Yes, they have. However, the technology for such batteries had not been properly developed by then. What makes them stand out is the safety they provide, along with the greater energy, Solid-state batteries were praised by experts for their thermal stability and fast recharge, which is substantial. The EV world is looking forward to faster replacement of lithium batteries with these brand new solid-state batteries. The new 750-mile solid-state battery is expected to begin rolling out in 2027, with mass production following. But a question arises. Why? Why are lithium-ion batteries denounced too much? EV experts have been scrutinizing the lithium batteries for a while. Its high cost and short lifespan have been a matter of great concern to the EV industry. Lithium batteries are too sensitive to temperature, which makes them unreliable for certain seasons and geography. Apart from that, the metals needed for lithium batteries are nickel, lithium, and cobalt. These metals are mined mostly from the Democratic Republic of Congo, which is famous for its landscapes and coal mines. 70% of the world's cobalt comes from the DRC, which is said to be the hub of child labor now. The risk factor includes the toxicity of these metals. They can contaminate water supplies and ecosystems if they leach out of landfills. What makes it riskier is that if the battery gets damaged, it becomes an extreme safety hazard because lithium-ion batteries are highly reactive and can easily self-combust if there is even a little bit of thermal runaway. But you will be shocked to know that the solid-state batteries are still lithium-based. Then why is the EV industry running behind it? The 750-mile solid-state battery developed by Toyota is basically a lithium-based solid-state battery. It does need lithium too, but it is used differently. The basic difference is in the electrolyte used in the battery. Let's understand it better. The main three components of a lithium-ion battery are an anode, a cathode, and an electrolyte. The anode and the cathode will have the lithium anode positively charged, and the electrolyte will carry positively charged lithium ions from the anode to the cathode and vice versa through the separator. The movement of the lithium ions creates free electrons in the anode, which creates a charge at the positive current collector. It happens when the battery discharges. When the battery is charging, the opposite happens. Lithium ions will be released from the negatively charged cathode, and the anode will receive them via electrolytes. The electrolyte itself is either a gel-like substance or liquid, depending on the logistics. However, it is highly risky because it is highly reactive when something goes wrong, increasing the possibility of more hazardous car accidents. It is where the solid-state battery becomes significant. The solid-state batteries are so named for their use of solid electrolyte. Solid-state cells, unlike conventional lithium-ion batteries, use glass or ceramic electrolytes. This ceramic or polymer electrolyte will allow an efficient flow of lithium ions, all while remaining in a solid state. It will have a great impact on the performance of the battery, though it might seem like a minor change. It not only enhances the performance, but the benefits of such a switch from liquid to solid is endless. We will see them one by one first, and the best is safety. When conventional lithium batteries have volatile flammable lithium electrolytes, the solid-state battery has a thermally stable and safer solid electrolyte. This will make the cars safer than fossil fuel-powered cars. The second one on the list could be the weight. The solid electrolyte is comparably lighter and compact than lithium-ion batteries. Therefore, it will take up less space and can be made smaller than conventional lithium-ion batteries. It will carry higher energy density in that small package which will lead to lighter EVs which is the need of the hour. Apart from that, as the EV gets bigger, the batteries will get bigger, and so will the power that it generates. However, lighter vehicles are much needed for the industry as the risks of tire wear, environmental pollution, etc. are alarming. A study reveals that EVs wear out 40% faster than a normal car. They will settle in the air and water, leading to environmental pollution. 
the lighter vehicles will have improved driving dynamics. Toyota has said that an EV equipped with its solid-state battery will be able to do up to 750 miles on a single charge. This is great news for the EV industry, as it will solve the problem of frequent charging. Finally, EVs will be able to cover long distances without any range constraints. This is possible because of the smaller size and increased energy density of the solid-state batteries. You will be surprised to know that it takes only 80% less charging time than lithium-ion batteries. A conventional battery will take between 20 minutes and 12 hours to recharge, whereas a solid-state battery will take up to 15 minutes to charge. Apart from that, solid-state batteries can be charged five times more than the typical lithium-ion battery. This is possible because of their higher voltage tolerance. Now, EV owners will be able to recharge their EVs just like they would refuel their cars. The solid-state batteries have the upper hand in manufacturing. Filling lithium-ion batteries with liquid electrolytes is a time-consuming process and requires the utmost precision. It is one of the reasons why lithium-ion batteries are costly. However, this stage can be skipped for solid-state batteries as they have a solid electrolyte, which makes mass production relatively simple. One of the most significant benefits of solid-state batteries is their low carbon footprint. These batteries are made from a few raw materials, therefore, they have around 39% less climate change impact than lithium-ion batteries. Even though solid-state batteries are expected to govern the EV industry from now on, they have some drawbacks that need to be addressed. It includes their real short life expectancy. They are much more efficient than conventional batteries, but they require maintenance. They have to be checked regularly and replaced if needed. If not maintained properly, lithium dendrites will form inside batteries, hindering their optimum performance. Even though the mass production of solid-state batteries is cheaper, the technology for such a mass production is still unattainable. Despite being such a promising battery type, it took Toyota around a decade to design and produce solid-state batteries. What could be the potential reason? Toyota was not merely focusing on designing the solid-state batteries they wanted them to win against the lithium-ion batteries. That took around a decade. In addition, the Toyota prototype has tried to mitigate the drawbacks of the solid-state batteries. They not only have an extended life expectancy but cover over 500,000 miles without any significant loss of maximum capacity. Now they are aiming at mass production of such batteries. Research is going on to find a reliable method of production to make them cheaper than lithium-ion batteries. But how long will the wait be? Akio Toyota, the chairperson of the Toyota Group, said, The company will start making solid-state batteries as of 2027. This confidence definitely gives hope to the EV market. By then, exhaustive research will make solid-state batteries cheaper and more reliable. Don't hold your breath because solid-state success is still a long and arduous road. Solid-state batteries will take their time to find their pace in the EV market, and replacing lithium-ion batteries will not be easy. But once they attain the pace, it will be a game-changer. Don't you think the wait will be worth it? That's all for today. Do comment your thoughts below. Don't forget to like the video. Please subscribe to us for more automotive news that sprouts in the industry. Until we meet again.